ladies and gents, NDTV here with some more Pokemon Emerald. Last episode, we showed off Trainer Hill. This episode, I'm gonna show off a little thing here. If we go in over into the Pokenav, which is a thing. This is... <laughs> this is post commentary, by the way, so I don't know what past me is doing, but... Uh, yeah, come on, past me, open up that Pokenav. Because we're doing a thing. That's better. Yeah. If you go over to the match call, or, well, at least for my game, we can see that Dad wants a rematch, because that's a thing. In Emerald only, the gym leaders in this game will want to rematch you. And this is what this episode is going to be. I'm going to be taking on all eight gym leaders again, because that is a thing. That's why I'm here in Rustboro City. And here's the other trainers that want to rematch, but this is just going to be focusing on the gym leaders, because it's fairly interesting that we get to fight them again. This is the first game in the series where I get to refight the gym leaders, but uh, it's definitely not the last. And yep, first off is Roxanne. Of course, I'm going to be fighting them in order. So let's get a move on because this is all going to be sped up. And I do have some things to talk about, but uh, yep, here's our first battle. And as you can see, it's a double battle. And the interesting thing is uh, the gym leaders will start to use Pokemon in the national decks. Now, this is my first time fighting all of them again, but the more you fight them, like, the more their levels will grow, and they'll add more Pokemon into their team, but for, like, for this Let's Play, I'm only going to be showing, like, the first rematch against each of the gym leaders, because it's fairly interesting. Now, Roxanne is still fairly easy, but, like, some of the other gym leaders have some interesting things, so, yeah. And next up is going to be Brawly, I don't know why I decided to show going like through each gym again, but whatever. Yep, Brawly here. I believe he has uh, Hitmon top in this battle. I don't know, but they all use like new Pokemon or quote unquote new Pokemon. Pokemon that you wouldn't see otherwise, which is one reason why I like fighting the gym leaders again. It's just really cool. And you get to see some of their Pokemon like evolve like it. Brawly's Makuhita, that's what it's called. Yeah, now it's a Hariyama. But uh, yeah, like these fir the first uh, few gym leaders, they're pretty easy, I tend to find. But like the later ones, they do get challenging because their levels are typically higher. But yeah, I think... Uh, I don't know how many times like you can rematch them before like all of the gym leaders' teams like reach their limit, I guess. But you do get to see some interesting Pokemon. I do know... um. Like, Winona, for instance, I believe she ends up having a Dragonite in her party, which is really, it's really cool that that happens. I don't even know what Watson, oh wait, yeah, I think Watson, he's gonna have an Ampharos, like, by the end of this. Which is still really cool, and wow, that Rain Dance just pretty much spelled the end for his team there, because of Boost Surf. But uh, yeah, since these are all double battles... I guess plan accordingly or have strategy centered around double battles my strategy is just use my strongest attack and use things like surf because they hit both members of the opponent but uh yeah it's I don't know I, I really enjoy that you can refight the gym leaders they won't call you when they want to rematch it'll just show up in the Pokemon it's like hey look you want to fight me again because that's a thing and it actually did take a while for all eight of these gym leaders to want to rematch, which is what I was waiting for. So yeah, that's definitely a thing. And I, I say that's a thing a lot. But whatever. And also the puzzle in the Lava Ridge gym is pretty easy. All the puzzles in these gyms aren't that difficult, but whatever. And the cargo, that's, that's not gonna live long. But yeah, Ponyta, I don't know what other the new Pokemon the gym leaders have. I just know what they have, like, the first time you rematch them. I mean, in my personal cartridge of Emerald, like, all of their teams are, like, as high as they can be, I guess. Which is how I know that Winona, for instance, has the Dragonite, but yeah. And Norman? Oh, he's, he gets a Blissey later on, which, eh. It's just when you're fighting, like, Chansey or Blissey, since they have a lot of HP, it's gonna take a long time for their HP to go down, and you get to see that here, because, yeah. Like, one return, 
is enough to knock out Chansey. And, oh, if I didn't speed that up, the HP bar would have gone down really, really, really fast. Or, slow. But I think they changed that in, like, Generation 5 on, where uh, it's not based on how much HP you have. It's based on, like, the percentage of how much HP you have. But whatever, I'm just talking about weird things, and... Two slacking, that's... Uh, that's that could be threatening, but I do have the level advantage here. And Norman was not that difficult at all. I mean, yeah, there's the full restore. Oh yeah, the gym leaders do use items like that. But, yeah, it's not really a problem. Especially when you have super effective moves. And you do get quite a bit of money for fighting the gym leaders again, so... That's also an incentive to do that, I guess? And here's the Fortree City puzzle, which is also not that difficult. But yeah, I think when you first fight Winona here, she just uses the Dratini. Yeah, Dratini. Other than that, like, her team is pretty much the same. Did she actually get rid of a Pokemon? I don't remember. No, she added one. Okay, yeah, the Dratini was new, because she had four Pokemon when we fought her for the first time. Right? That sounds about right. It'd be... Yeah, that, I, I guess that sounds about right. And it's kind of funny, is now that all of these gym leader battles are... Uh, or now that all of these gym leader rematches are double battles, Tate and Liza no longer have that interesting gimmick of being the only gym battle with double battles. But whatever. Oh yeah, Tate and Liza are next. So that is what we're going to be doing. Isn't speeding up fun? Also, this puzzle. Much more easier than the one in Ruby and Sapphire. If you want my opinion on that, because the puzzle in Ruby and Sapphire was really different from this. It had like the moving floor tiles like in um uh the rocket game yeah, the rocket game corner in uh, red, blue, yellow and remakes. Yeah, Tate and Liza Ooh, they got Slowpoke. I don't know if that's going to be a Slowbro or a Slowking when... Yeah, I don't remember. I mean, I could always look this up, but whatever. I'm only showing the first three matches against all of these gym leaders just because. It does make for some pretty good experience as well. Ooh, hello, Solrock. And also getting that freeze on that clay doll was pretty lucky. And also, uh, just looking at the timeline, this... Battle took the longest out of all of them. But, meh, whatever. I mean, the one against Juan also took quite a bit of time, but this one took just a little bit longer. And we're almost done, right? Yeah, just Lunatone and Zatu. Oh yeah, that Zatu is what made this battle take so long, because it uses the stupid... I mean, it has that full restore, but... If I remember correctly, that Zatu has a rest and a chesto berry, which is basically a free heal. Which was annoying, and it lived because calm mind. But yeah, chesto, berry, and rest is a pretty good combination of moves and items. Yeah, it's a very good strategy. But still, Zatu's down, and all that's left is one with 10,000 poke bucks. That's a lot of money. Yeah, Juan, pretty easy as well. He does have that King Drill, which could be a pain, but I didn't have a problem with it, I guess. No, actually, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I remember it has double team. Ah, you. Why do you do things like that, Juan? Oh, yeah, Arios gets knocked out in this fight. Spoilers, because Ice Beam is a thing. Yeah. This, this guy just likes having double team on his Pokemon, which is stupid, but whatever. And that Poliwag lived far longer than it should have because of Protect. Because that's also a thing. I don't know if this becomes a Poliwrath or a Politoed when his team is fully evolved. I don't know. But it's not a Politoed with Drizzle because that's not a thing yet. Not until Generation 5. Yes, yeah, Iarios just got hit with an Ice Beam there. Ah, oh, Protect. Why are you wasting my time? 
Yeah, Wand's levels are pretty high up. I mean, the level 46 Poliwag is pretty impressive. And there's the Kingdra with the whole double team thing. Yeah, that's not fun. And it still lives like that. And it also has the Chestoberry in rest. That's not fun at all. But I think I knock it out this turn. Yep. So that's it for all the gym leader rematches, and we can go back to normal speed. And no, I don't want to be your apprentice. Then I don't want your coat either, Juan. But uh, yep. Can finally leave this gym and his basement full of women locked up down here. Someone should probably call the police on that. But that's neither here nor there because we did everything I wanted to do in this episode, which is just fight all the gym leaders. So, yep, I'm gonna end it off here and uh, see you guys next time for Pokemon Emerald. Some more Pokemon Emerald next episode. We're finally gonna go to the Battle Frontier. So, yay! Excitement! Woo! Battle Frontier! Later.